Syriza, the hard left party behind a seismic shift in Europe, elected against a backdrop of austerity, recession and massive unemployment. It's set for stormy times as it collides with the European Union over renegotiation of Greece's massive debt. And the man charged with leading Greece's negotiations, rather than a firebrand radical, is a self-styled accidental economist. The simple answer is no. Media savvy 53-year-old Yanis Varoufakis gained thousands of fans and followers with his TV appearances, blogs and poetic tweets about economics and austerity. Greece is absolutely, irreversibly committed to be staying in the Eurozone. You see, the problem is that once you're in, just like you will recall the Eagle song, Hotel California, you can check out any time you like, but you can never leave. He rejects convention, saying his approach to economics is like, quote, an atheist theologian in a Middle Ages monastery. He studied at Essex University in England before teaching in universities around the world. An international man now needed to face Greece's international creditors. He will be up against the EU, the European Central Bank, and the IMF. The problem with the way that Europe has been dealing with this crisis since 2010 is that everybody is a loser. When we could have a much more rational way of dealing with the Greek crisis, where the average European citizen pays less for this unfolding, never-ending debacle. And he shows no sign of changing his style. His first act as finance minister was an online promise to keep on blogging, despite official advice. His only concession to his new role, a warning that his comments would become, quote, juicier. It's a warning Angela Merkel et al. would do well to heed. Hala Garani, CNN, London.